In recent months, after quite a few days of calm, sunny weather, through the night, the weather changed. And by early morning, before it was light, there were howling winds and rain battering the windows. I was about to pull the blankets over my ears to get a bit more sleep, when another sound broke through. Bird song. The dawn chorus. Yes, the birds were singing, every bit as cheerfully as on the stillest of mornings, as if nothing had changed to make them otherwise. O oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you, for you, O oh God, are my fortress, the God who shows me steadfast love. Psalm 59. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths. Psalm 30. Once daylight comes, birds have to forage for food most of the day, so for them, singing is a priority. Now, I'm definitely a bird lover, but definitely not an ornithologist. So the little I do know about why they sing in this way doesn't detract from the fact that they do sing this way, come rain or shine. Circumstances don't seem to be a factor. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Philippians 4. They don't realise it, but our birds are doing just that. The dawn may fade into an ordinary day, but rejoicing in the Lord, a dawn chorus of the heart, at its beginning, makes it extraordinary. And every second the dawn chorus is beginning somewhere in the world. A great thought in the middle of a sleepless night. Let me remember my song in the night. Let me meditate in my heart. Psalm 77. But about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Acts 16. When we first awake, the flesh seems to want anything but prayer. Preoccupations about our foraging and the day ahead queue up for attention. Emails, texts, WhatsApp, the news, all readily available, clamour for fingers on screens to open their messages by which time the day can be, already, full steam ahead. But morning praise doesn't have to be lengthy. We can pour our hearts out to God, including our trials and sorrows, in a few tweets. And I don't mean on Twitter. Pour out your heart like water before the presence of the Lord. Lift up your hands to him. Lamentations 2. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Psalm 62. What strikes me most about the birds, though, is their unfailing songs, whatever the weather. The weather in our spiritual and physical lives, very unpredictable, could be described as moderate to good, variable, or becoming cyclonic at times. But nothing about God changes, whatever we are experiencing. None of his promises fade or disappear. As we sing his praises, we will know that truth. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13. Before the mountains were brought forth, whatever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Psalm 90. Now a great way to fortify our praise is by foraging in God's word. And here are some great branches out of hundreds to sing from. My heart, O God, is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake, my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Psalm 57. Each morning I will sing with joy about your unfailing love, for you have been my refuge, a place of safety when I am in distress. Psalm 59. My health may fail and my spirit may grow weak, but God remains the strength of my heart and he is mine forever. Psalm 73. These verses remind me that singing to and praising the Lord embrace times of trial, overlaid with confidence in our future with him. After a morning tweet, 
There's no reason we can't have a dawn chorus later in the day. Rejoice always covers any time or place. And if it's midnight, there are plenty of nocturnal songsters. And at dusk, birds sing equally as cheerfully as at dawn, foraging over, time to rest. <laughs>